<laughs> you unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. I gotta get the fuck out of there. And my reason for this, my reason is for one that you may share, possibly. I have a very low tolerance level for stupid bullshit. We don't want no, 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 we don't want no bullshit around us. No bullshit around us. No bullshit around us. No bullshit around us. Drink the drink. I don't want the drink. He doesn't want the drink. He does. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. I don't. You don't. I do. You don't. I do. You don't. I haven't got time for this Mickey Mouse bullshit. Caution, you are about to enter the no bullshit zone. Factor begins right now. It's now. We're live, ladies and gentlemen. No fucks given radio, that's right. I am the unknown factor. And tonight, tonight is the no bullshit zone. Yeah, that's right. And man, I just gotta say, it's normally just myself. Poke and Nitty on the No Bullshit Zone. We got Nitty in the house right now. Nitty, what's up? What, what, what's up? Just the general madness of the madness, man, and I love it, right? But, mm-hmm. and I discussed this with you, Nitty, and I discussed this with Poke. I, I, I think we needed a, a big motherfucker up in here. So we brought Big Will to the No Bullshit Zone. Yeah, Big Will, what's good? Yeah. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Hey, my first one. I've been been out a few of these before, so it's nothing new. That's true, but now we're making you a host of the show. Yeah. Like it is us four. That shit can get crazy, though. It can get crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, it can. And like like I said, man, if you're on the Facebook Live, the the number's right there scrolling below. It's 765-400-0511. If you want to call and join in on the conversation, you know, fucking got any topics you want to talk about, whatever, uh... We I mean, we cover all kinds of shit over here, but and it's gotten kind of deep. I feel the last couple of no bullshit zones. So I personally, I just want to start this one off. I want to start it off light. Uh, did anybody hear about the mech fight that happened? Like the real life mech fight, like a Japanese company and an American company. They made big ass mechs and they fought. No robot. Robots last week, yeah. Well, that, they're called mechs, man, because it's a big ass yeah, robot. Yeah, I know what they're called. They're called the mechs, right? Yeah. I yeah, I mean, called. yeah, that's. I mean, that's just, and it's because it comes from anime and fucking all kinds of science fiction and all that shit. You didn't hear nothing about that, Nitty? Yeah. Nope, nope. All right. Gonna get in a fight, some robots. That's great. Well, exactly. It is. And it sucked. I watched for. I, I didn't actually watch the video, but I heard from a lot of people that it was pretty bad, and they were looking forward to it. I'm like, Ugh, that bad? <sighs> and that's the thing. It was greatly hyped. Like, I mean, this fucking shit was like hyped for years. Like, I mean, at least there was at well, least a good took year hype, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, behind this shit, you know, and fucking they do it. I'll make sure I ain't uh-huh. fucking, sorry, I was trying to make sure I was check, being able to check the comments, but not blowing up noise, uh, as far as background not, not sound. So, not something oh. you can put together in two months. But, oh, no, 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 and, but the thing is, man, the robots, uh, hell yeah, shout out to Del Rogers, that's what's up, but, uh, fucking, the, the fight they put together, man, like, they put these robots together, and they made it to where there's people inside, so you can't go full yeah. tilt. You can't make it a really interesting fight because you have to concern yourself with the fact that, hey, dude, there's a human in there. Uh-huh. Opposed to letting them rip those mu- rip, rip each other fuck apart. Yeah. I mean, because uh-huh. that's what everybody was looking at this fight when it went on, man. It's like, oh, it's going to be a mech fight. And everybody's thinking, like, some straight up, like, I don't know, Gundam Wing fucking, and I know I'm getting way too nerd for probably both you guys. But like yeah, some wait, shit like that. Exactly. I yeah, like, I know. Will Kamehameha? Fuck off. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, but and that's what everybody was expecting though. Was like these two big mechs really going at it, and they got some yeah. shit like it had paintball guns, and they were getting stuck together and. I mean, ostensibly, I watched a breakdown video of this, and ostensibly, it took three days to film that robot fight. Will, it took, guys, look, check that nitty. Will, it took three days to film that robot fight. Mm-mm. Three. That's yeah. terrible. Well, it's because shit kept fucking up, and I mean, 
if they would have, what they should have done, which I don't know why they didn't, is just had the shit be remote controlled and been like, hey, we're gonna give it like grenades and like fucking, you know, have it firing like, you know, ten millimeter rounds, fucking like, like serious, like having some fucking anti tank shit on these fucking robots, like, and have it to where it's just cameras around it, ain't nobody around. It's you're behind a bunker if you're watching this fucking shit from anywhere close, you know. They're like put humans in it and make it uninteresting. Yeah, that would be. That makes it sound pretty uninteresting. Well, damn it, I'm kind of upset neither of you checked that video. No, it was. It yeah, was. I was going to, but. I was going to, but I heard how bad it was. I mean, from like too many people. <laughs> well, and, uh, I mean, it, it turned into. Bad. It was, dude, it was terrible, Nitty. Like, it. At one point, they're, like, shooting paintballs at one another. And it's like, what does this... It's like, you're shooting paintballs. Mm, Yeah. And then even at one point, um, I think my favorite point in this whole little charade, because it was, it was a bullshit charade, they had uh, the robots back in real slowly to where the announcers were. Like, on some WWE, oh shit, there goes the announcer table kind of shit. Mm-hmm. But didn't they have the guy from like Ninja Warrior commentating? American Ninja Warrior, I heard. I don't know who was commentating. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Yeah, I don't know who was actually commenting because I didn't actually watch the actual video. I just watched the break. You're like, Jesus, no, I wouldn't have watched that whole fight. I'm glad I didn't, especially everything I heard about it. Um, yeah. right. But no, fucking. Oh, like I, yeah, I got no idea. God, I'd have hated to have commentated that shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, I'd have blown my fucking head off. Probably. Yeah. Oh. You don't know. Every, yeah, it was a shitty robot fight. It really was. That's, and I think that's proof that everybody should should show that uh. If you're gonna use robots for military like that, you really don't want to put a person in them. No. Yeah. You could totally no, do that though. Not. Remote control. Hey. Can can I see? I, t- I said I was gonna keep this lighthearted though. God damn it. And I want to switch from that. So so they should have remote controlled that shit. Totally. They, they, there shouldn't sure. have been people. But I really think when it comes to that Pornhub shit, that's a little creepy. Mm. Did you guys hear about that? What? Look what they doing to Pornhub. Man, they're running an AI program. Will, did you look oh, into this? Mm-hmm. They're running an AI, uh, artificial intelligence program on Pornhub? Yeah, there's an artificial <laughs> intelligence <laughs> program running on Pornhub that is learning porn, is what it's doing. And it's made mm. to go through, and I find this so funny, it's using facial recognition technology. You know what I'm saying? The same, Mm -hmm. like, the kind of thing that, oh, there's a photo of me, like, all of us out there. So it's the kind of thing that makes it to where the government can be like, oh, that's the unknown factor. We know that because that's his fucking face, you know? They're using that same technology to go through porn videos and identify porn stars. Mm -hmm. Now, they're also, and this is the thing I find very interesting, using this to identify sex acts. So apparently there is an AI out there learning the difference between vaginal and anal sex. You know, like what a three way is, what a blowjob. Like, this is what the fucking AI on Pornhub is doing. There's no. That's crazy. That, that is good. That is crazy. This is what we've done with our technology, gentlemen. Right. That's crazy. <laughs> like, like, tell me when she gives a foot job. I need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't even want. Look, I, I just threw out some weird kink. Like I could have, if I, your lucky humanity wasn't here, I'm sure the kink would have been oh, a thousand times God. worse. That's all I'm saying. Who the hell wants a foot job, bro? Right. I don't know. Look, way back, way back, I did have a chick like give me one. But I mean, that was like I was a fucking teenager, you know. Um, I, I don't know what the deal with those are. Yeah, but I mean it's a thing, Nitty. But there, there are dudes really into feet too. You know what I'm saying? There are dudes that like 
worship fee. Like, it's their thing. Like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, some weird shit. That's some weird so, shit. So, yeah. But, I mean, that's what I'm saying, though. Pornhub now has an AI that has been taught to go through and find all these specific kinks and all this <laughs> shit and label it. Yeah. yeah. Why the fuck are we using such advanced technology for such dumbass shit? No I don't know. You'll find out in, in a couple of years. The reason behind it. It's, it's about everything that they do. Well, see, I'll tell you my whole opinion with that is if you took a program like that and, um, yeah, fuck you, dude, I told you. If you took a program like that and as opposed to making it, you know, filter through porn and name porn stars and porn acts and mark where they are in particular videos, which is really weird. Guys, just watch porn. I mean, you. Does it really have to be, but whatever. I mean, I guess that's the world we live in. You really do want instant gratification, right? Um, but if you took that and it's supposed to use it that, man, use it to fucking filter through all the goddamn fake news on fake, uh, Facebook. Like, where the fuck is that AI filter? <laughs> you know I'm right. <laughs> Like, Nitty, I look, Nitty, I've even seen you post some fake news before. Yeah, huh? I've seen you even post some. Hey, man, I've posted fake news before. Fuck, yeah, everybody, I, I think everybody probably has. Yeah, that's my point, though, man. Everybody's fucking posted some fake-ass fucking news. And it's because the fucking shit is so fucking filled with fake news. How the fuck do you disconcern from everything else? Why the fuck have we left an AI and think it's more important for it to uh, filter through fucking pornography than it is for it to filter through what is fact and fiction in the actual world. Yes. Yeah, it's funny sometimes. Some of this is still fake news. Sometimes when they end up being real, you think it's fake anyway because it's not believable. What? This is my wife just said too. She said even the real news is fake news. I love she even right. used quotation marks. Goes both ways. Especially if you had Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, man, I got There's him on the board. I got him on the board for a little bit of a topic, Nitty. I do. Uh, I mean, okay. you wanna, and that well, that is that brings right into the fake news actually, and what right what I was talking about because. There was a whole thing about um, all the Facebook ads that were purchased by Russia um, for him via for Facebook, and that's a whole fucking right. ordeal. And I was even man, I was I was on this motherfucker's Twitter today. I I, I was on the president's oh, Twitter. Yeah, man, I trolled his Twitter a little. I mean, I should have actually trolled him literally and said shit, but I really just scrolled and read yeah, some of the dumb good. shitty posts. Um, it's, dude, first off, it's amazing how much our president tweets. Like, I, I, like I, 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 I bet I'm sure he tweets a lot all the well, time. Well, I'd heard about it, but I actually hadn't gone and looked firsthand. And I'm like, man, you know, I don't know, just some of the tweets. Uh, like he's, he's, he's fucking bit. Look, you know what? He, it's the kind of bitching I would expect out of a dude in our game who's just whiny and just never gonna make it anywhere. Does that make sense? Oh. Yeah. I That's swear to God. God. Like, such and such a senator said he's not going to run for re-election now. And, you know, right? And, like, just the way, I don't know, it was the way he put things, it, it fucking amazed me. It did. It was it was so unprofessional from the president. Right. I, I didn't fucking get it. And, like I said, he does it so much. And then he, uh, he was also bitching about the fact that, uh, what was it? Hillary, uh, fucking, oh, if you want to, you want to bitch about all this in Russia and blah, 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 Hillary ruled Facebook, you can tell that. Who ruled Facebook, guys, do you know, like, during the election? Who? Who ruled Facebook? Like, between Hillary and Trump, who had more pool on Facebook? More pool on Facebook? Hillary. Yeah. Would you say? See yeah, what? All right, who would you say had more pool, man? 
more pull yeah as far as yeah fucking who who was showing more strength and fucking ad in Facebook as far as between Hillary and uh, Donald Trump during the election because that's a big thing right now they're saying fucking the Russians really affected the election Trump was Trump was by far the, he was the biggest entertainment, and that's what and he drew a lot of people, a lot of backwood rednecks out of, the, out, out of out of the woodwork to get out the vote for him that had, that you ain't heard from in years. They was all done. He he spoke their language. He spoke their language. He you know he, he incited violence towards these minorities, he say Mexicans this, we're gonna build this wall, we're gonna do this. He said all the right things to get everybody out of the out of the backwoods riled up. And then what you see, at all these rallies, you know, all these people, they incite violence. He was great at entertainment. He said the right thing. He said what a lot of people are in this country already been thinking, but they were scared to say. Then when he became president, it was like everybody got heart to really jump out there and really be be who they really are, which is a lot of back, back, back calls it closet racist. It's a bunch of them. So you know when he jumped out, he was he was by far the entertainment. But I don't the thing about it with me was, and like I like I was explaining to somebody today, I said, oh you you gonna sit and tell me that you if you got daughters or you got kids and you would want a man to walk up and grab him by the pussy. You know what I'm saying, and, and, and you know, and, and, and today, it was, it was, it was, it was kind of like somebody kind of replied like, "Oh man, you know how we all, you know, uh, uh, men talk, uh, you know, kind of like that in, 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 you know, sort of something." I said, "No, bro, I don't, I don't do that. One. I don't know what y'all, what y'all do. I don't do that. Talk about behind closed doors. I'm just grabbing, going to grabbing women by the coochie and." That's disrespectful. That's it. That's it. Nitty. Nitty. So, yeah. Nitty, you're cutting in and out. Oh, yeah. my bad. This is phone, man. This phone I just got is terrible, dude. It's terrible. Oh, is that, oh, is that the same one you got? Yeah, that same one you had last week? Yeah, that motherfucker. Man, it's terrible. It's lost your time like that last week. This phone is terrible. I don't like it. Well, hey, fuck that song for it. Make it work. Oh, fucking. Uh, yeah, yeah, but that happens. All right, but yeah, man. But, but I see no, your point on that, though, Nitty. As far as what you're saying, though, to go back to that. But the thing in the, is, that they're saying right now is that uh, the Russians like fucking bought a bunch of fucking Facebook ads for Trump, like yeah, to try and yeah. sway the election. But what do you think of that, man? Man, it, I'm not surprised. You know, see, how this whole thing is unfolding. The Russians had a lot to do with this election, dude, because they knew if Hillary gets in, them sanctions ain't coming off of them. They had the sanctions that Obama kept putting on them. You know, they was trying to get into America and do business. They couldn't, because Obama kept putting sanctions on them. And Trump had been running money, running money laundering and stuff on all this time. Do we do this business? So now they finally tell where, hell, we got to get Trump in. That's what that was they involved in. They had a they had an agenda. They needed to come in for them to to go on and, and, and run their agenda through. But see, but see, the thing about it is, it's a lot bigger actually than that. Because when you, when you think about it, they backed that horse for one re- for a reason. Because they figured he would be the downfall of this country. They're going to divide it. And guess who's going to sneak in and take over the world? The Russians. They're going to sit back and watch us decline, decline, decline. And then they're going to, hey, I'm telling you, you got to watch close. Their mother's gonna pull together and they're gonna hit this, they're gonna hit this, they're gonna hit this country hard in the, in, in, in the chest. And we're gonna be so divided, we're gonna be so distracted by everything that Trump's doing, we'll never see it coming. Never see it coming. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Remember I said this, you we never gonna see it coming. You know what I'm saying? Trump running around talking that stuff, while we're hit doing this and that, we're talking about North Korea and all news. Russia's not true. They gonna stay sit back and watch uh, USA crumble every day they see Trump involved they see it happening this is their way of getting back back into power 
back up to even the power out. You know what I'm saying? Now, but in the in the in the grand scheme of things, Nitty, you really think it'll be Russia that comes in and takes over like that? Because I mean, China is quite the fucking powerhouse. And we kind of got a bit of a debt to them, too. So if anyone wants to really come collect on our asses, as far as a country, anyways, I think it would be China. Yeah? But see, they make money off it. They make money off it. They make money off it. Like, we are in debt. But what's a good way to wipe that debt off? If the motherfuckers ain't living, then we don't own shit. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, it, 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 it's how you can look at it. Because China and Russia, they allies. So, you right. know, it, it could be in all, it could be all they can move together. But see, the Russia, they very conniving. They very conniving. You know what I'm saying? They, trust me, Putin, Putin, he ain't gonna aim for no game. And the thing is, they figure, well, if they get Trump in, they know that's their best way of infiltrating America and all, all this, all, every, all his secrets and everything. Because Trump, you see earlier when, when he just got into office, how he was uh, uh, sharing uh, uh, some of some of the what is it, some some of the secrets of the, <coughs> with the, US, with the uh, new United Nations or something like that. But he yeah. ended up being really yeah, because he apparently shared something that he was like, oh, I didn't know it was top secret or something. If I remember properly, right? Uh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, back and it was way back when he first got in somewhere. Yeah, so it's like. They know that, and they gonna come. They gonna end up coming up. They gonna come up with a bunch of information they ain't supposed to. So you better, you better bet believe that it's his best the interest of the Russians for Trump to be in. That's the whole thing. It's a, it's, it's a divide and conquer. They know Trump gonna divide his country. They know he he he's a buffoon who doesn't know what he what he's saying. He has he has no clue of what he's doing. And they say, well, they're figuring like, well, you know, we get him to get us in there. You know, if he can take up four years, if he makes it four years, it's gonna, it's gonna kill this country. Then, the Russians are gonna, that's gonna get them closer and closer. Then they get in cahoots with China, who is all allies of North Korea and Syria. You see, you, you connecting these dots now? They yeah. bombed Syria, and they, the Russia told them, don't ever do yeah, that shit again. Yeah, we went in don't that. Don't do that shit no more. Yeah, we went into that in the last episode as far as the uh, situation in Syria. You can check out the last episode to get more in depth into that. Uh, me poking Nitty went yeah. into it. And the fucking, yeah. Jesus, the chaos that we have te- we pretty much have caused there as a country. Because we did it. Uh, just fucking arming and then bombing and then fucking doing it. Yeah, and it fucking got yeah. to a point where, yeah, it about got it to where Russia got involved. You're right. Already. And that... Eh, it's probably gonna cause World War Three, and uh, I mean, as interesting, there's this part of me, and and it's just like I was like, um, it'd be kind of interesting to see World War Three, you know. I, I don't really want to see World War Three though, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to keep that in mind because I'm, yeah. Well, I'm fully aware that it's probably gonna be at least close to an extinction level event, um, unless mm-hmm. we get really diplomatic. Fairly early on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it can get nasty over here. It's gonna get nasty over there. You ain't gonna be able to leave the country. You ain't gonna be. Able, it's gonna be. It's gonna. And it's gonna clamp down so hard. It, it, it just. It, World War Three doesn't make sense right now. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't. You no, know, not for us. You know, but but no, we have done no. so much. We got so much blood on our hands, man. That eventually, that shit's gonna come back on us, man. We got so much blood on our hands. Not only inside this country, but also outside this country. So, man, it, 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 you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be. Good. I hope, I hope the hell it does. But we, 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 we got too much blood on our hands, man. That shit could come back. But man, at that same light, doesn't that? I mean, really, if you think about that, the whole human race has too much blood on their hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're correct. But this yeah. country, dude. Right. You think about it. This country was. Go ahead. Oh no, go ahead, man. Oh, I thought somebody good. But this country itself, man, it was built on violence. It was built on on murder, corruption, everything. The blood, the blood is on the hands of this country is is far past anything that that, that everybody in this country could do. It's been this this thing is 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 is, is built on just straight. Blood from, from starting from the Indian all the way up to to uh, the four soldiers that was just killed in Africa this weekend, this past week. You know what I'm saying? It's, 
everywhere, especially this, this, man, this country is, there's some things about this country, man, that, you know what I'm saying, that we're going to love, we're going to hate, you know, that, that, that's that's just the way it's going to be, you know, there's a lot of things about this country that's, that's good, some things bad, but the thing about, the thing about, the thing about it is they're not willing to listen to get better, you know what I'm saying, people, the people not want to listen to get better, and, that, and that's where we're going to, that's what we're gonna end up, you know, our failure is. But I'm telling you, it's gonna be some, some crazy is gonna happen within the next two years. Watch what I tell you. Something's real crazy. And we're gonna be sitting back and be like, man, he said it. He said there's gonna be something crazy gonna happen. Something All right, crazy now, is about to happen, man. Let me say then, you say something crazy, Nitty. Now, I mean, recently <laughs> there was the uh, incident in Vegas, which everyone's aware of, I'm sure of. And there have mm-hmm. been, uh, I don't know how many theories behind how many people there are. It's, we've been told there's one shooter. I've been, I've heard there was like up to fucking six or some shit. Mm-hmm. I don't even know anymore. All the shit you hear. Um, so, I mean, you look at that and that was obviously, that was fucking crazy. That was, that was fucked yeah. up. And we obviously, so like how much, like when you say something crazy, how much crazier than that do you mean, Nitty? I mean, some more, some, some 9-11 type shit. You know what I'm saying? 9-11 type shit. That kind of crazy. Something that, that, that epic is going to be, you know, where it's going to, it's going to, it's going to take a, uh, uh, something serious, but it's going to get a, a lot of money. A lot of people sitting around, like, they, like, they didn't know this was about to happen. Something crazy, 9-11 type crazy is going to happen. Because we're vulnerable to that right now. You know why? Because it's so discombobulated. It, 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 it is so crazy in 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 the, in, in, the, in, the, in the country right now. We don't have no leadership. We don't. Every, everybody's divided. You know what I'm saying? It's so much division that right now, if it really was, it was the tech time, right now would be time to, to, to take a shot. Because it's so much chaos in this country right now. It all started at the top. You know what I'm saying? And inexperience at the top goes, goes with it. So you get inexperience, you get chaos, and it's that, you know, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to leave us vulnerable to attacks. I hate to say it, but I mean, it's going to be some 9 11 type shit. It's going to pop off. Because we're vulnerable at the top, man. When you get it vulnerable Damn. at the top, there's going to be some problems. It's like. So there, there's your optimistic moment from Frank Nitty for the No Bullshit Zone, just for everyone out there. <laughs> uh, uh, man, you know what? I hope the hell they don't. I hope the hell they don't. Don't nothing crazy happen. But, but you know, you could just, you know, when you can sense something's about to happen, then, you know, when you can sense it, that's, that's kind of where I'm, I'm kind of in the middle where I just sense things, and it's like, man, this shit, you know, it's, it's just not going to be pretty. I hope the hell it does it, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I don't see, I don't see it not happening with, 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 you know, with the man that's in charge now. It's, it's hard not to see it, not to see it coming. But, it's hard not to see it coming, man. It's hard. Uh, yeah, and I, I mean, mean he, I can't argue with you, Nitty. Shit has fucking gotten progressively crazier and crazier here recently. Yeah. Yeah. About about a minute. Like, you know what I mean? It just it, it just doesn't make sense, man, that you know, that we have came this far to take the step back that we took, you know, by letting this fool in first in the office. And then, you know, he you know, now you know, you already a shoe businessman, you took it. So now you can let him get all the all the codes to everything and know how everything operates. Oh, don't think he, he's the kind of person that that when he gets out of office He's gonna, he's gonna use all that, all that, you know, all that, everything just to come, to come back and uh, to haunt this country, man. Getting that man in office will haunt this country forever. Watch what I tell you, forever. Man, I think we've already had presidents like that, though, technically, haven't we? No, 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 no. We ain't had a president with a mouth like this. Well, yeah, this true. Is, everybody, you know, every president we have had, from this point on, I mean, has all carried itself with elegance. Whether it was, you know, whether it was the right thing to say to people or the way he stood up, he never ever get on Twitter and 
they going in. NFL players, they go with NBA players, they go with football players, they go with kids, they go with vets, they go with, and just go with anybody who, who has anything opposed to say. That, that, that doesn't make sense. How is it that you even have time to get Twitter when you run running the, the biggest, the best, the, the top country in the world? That doesn't, that doesn't add up. That doesn't add up, man. I mean, some of this stuff has to add up, and it's not adding up. When it doesn't add up, it's a problem there. Yeah, will opinions? Yeah, it could be a major issue. Yeah, well, major issue. It's gonna be just what, what, thing, You said you're going through his Twitter. What, like, what the fuck was the dude talking about on his Twitter? He, you know, he, he, he tweeted. You know, he tweeted about the NFL. He got a good. Right and then he always tweeted about the team about it. He tweeted, he tweeted tweet about Jeff Curry. There was a, uh, I'm trying Jeff to remember Curry. the, uh, remember he? I want to say it was in Oklahoma, I believe, is the representative that was, he said he's not running for re election now, but he said he's going to specifically yeah. work against a, um, oh, fuck, what was the bill? This was like, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sick as fuck. I should have wrote this shit down. Um, and it was way the fuck earlier today. When I was trolling through his fucking Twitter, um, no. But yeah, it was something about he was going to work against. It was the uh, healthcare, the uh, healthcare bill that he's trying to yeah. pass. That this senator was going to work against, and it was like, yeah, the fucker. I mean, he was just tweeting, and um, the way he put it, it was, uh, yeah, yeah. Isn't here? Let me. I'll, I'll fucking quote the goddamn tweet for you, man. Uh, isn't it sad that lightweight Senator Bob what, Corker, who couldn't get reelected yep, in the great state of Tennessee, will now fight tax cuts plus? Okay, it was tax cuts. My apologies. It wasn't health care. It was tax cuts. But just the way he fucking put that shit, you know, I'm like, you're fucking saying it like you're some kind of jackass fucking high school bully. You're the president of the United fucking States of America. Right. Right. Yeah, you know, and, and, and you know, we haven't had no parent president, too, you know, and tweeting like that, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and then go out calling football players, son of those bitches, and it's net, what, what, what the hell is the respect? It's, from the time his campaign started, all the way to the day, he had, it, it, it's been nothing about respectful about this man. There's nothing I'm looking at when I say, man, I respect Mr. Trump. I don't respect Mr. Trump at all, period. I don't get me. The man has done nothing but just disrespect people. From 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 vet war vets to women to to the ball players, even the Congress lady who, who just on this just recently, where they were talking about things he said to the to, to the soldier's wife, where you know is that I mean it, it's a simple thing you don't get around to say uh, tell her well you know you know what he signed up for. Uh, oh, yeah, I heard about it, that. But it's now I did sad. see. On the flip side of that, just to give a little bit of positive light to this orange asshole, um, I did see a tweet from him saying condolences to the families of, I think it was four victims of, that were of yeah. military service, people in the service that have recently gotten killed in action. Um, that was about the only thing I seen that wasn't douchebaggery, though. Uh, like I said, on the same, on the note of that senator, he fucking sent out a tweet saying that senator couldn't get fucking uh, elected dog catcher. Like, like motherfucker, you, this isn't pro wrestling. This is politics. I want to point that shit. Like, when the fuck did the United States government turn into the WWE fucking E? Would someone tell me? Yeah, when 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 Orange Man got in in January. Because his, his thing, he think he, he thinks it's business. He thinks he, he can fight it verbally, and he can't. He, he doesn't have to fight it, you know. He he bit off more than he to get into being president, and it always it's wearing him out because he's used to saying what he wants to say. But when you become president, you cannot say what you want to say. You're gonna have to. You got to use some grace. You got to have some respect, and he can't deal with that. That's not that's not him. He's not a respectful man. He's not. He, He's not. Man has been has done a lot of a lot of things his whole his whole time. Just when he was doing business, it was like you know he was he wasn't the president. He was out of the light. The worst thing that could happen to him was him becoming president because that puts you straight in direct light for for all your indiscretions to be exposed. Everything about you is exposed. 
Now, when you were racist behind closed doors, nobody would never know unless they ran it, that she just straight up did something racist in front of everybody. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah. he can sit up and be racist in front of the whole world because everybody's paying attention. And now, the, 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 hot, the hot seat is, 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 it may be too hot for him. You know what I'm saying? He, he, got, he got to come out of care. That's just the, that's the way he is. He don't know how to carry himself no other way. And the problem with him is, is that he don't know what to say. They're not getting nobody to write this to. He just comes out and says whatever. And then he sits there and looks like a big-ass fool. And then like, well, I didn't mean it that way. What do you mean you didn't mean it that way? That's where you said it. So, you know, it's, it, has, it, it has to be a line drawn somewhere. And this president, this president is going to be over quick. Because he's running, even the Republicans ain't feeling it. So whenever you can't get no bills passed and you've got the Republican House and you represent Republican, it's a problem there. It's a serious problem there. You know what I'm saying? It's a problem. If you oh, yeah. House and yeah. you can't get no bills passed, it's a problem. Well, that's because, though, technically, man, I mean, I know he ran under the Republican ticket, but that motherfucker was an independent from the get-go. I mean, he was a fucking millionaire right. running his own campaign. He, I mean, he could right. fucking say he was on whatever party, but he wasn't really with that party. You know what I'm saying? But he had to be with a party to win, because if you ain't Democrat or, Democrat or Republican, it's not going to happen for you independent. Because Republican vote Republican, Democrat vote against Democrat. If you ain't on either side, you can't. You, it's hard to win, you know. And and and, it was, and so Trump took that. Even a lot of Republicans before he even got in didn't want to deal. Didn't want to deal with him. Uh, Paul Ryan didn't jump on board until you know I think one. I think one the the thing then it's like okay, well, all right, I took I had to roll with it. I don't like it, but I will roll with it. And there's a lot more of it that are that are doing the same thing. They, they don't like it, but they have oh, to yeah. roll with it. No, dude, watching fucking... Uh, oh, no, that was... Bernie had to do it for Hillary, but that was terrible, too. But, yeah, I mean, you could see that on both sides as far as them just being mm -hmm. like, oh, fine, fuck it. Like, right. and it wasn't even... It, they kind of looked defeated in doing that. And I think that says a lot to do... Or that says a lot for the system we have in, uh, in place as far as it being a two-party system. And it's fucking terrible. Right. I mean, it's the press. The press, I'm still... I'm still, you know, I'm still taken by the process because Hillary won by three million votes, and they say, well, in uh, in uh, uh, the electoral day, uh, Donald Trump won the electoral. How is that? He lost by three million votes, not a hundred, not three hundred, not four hundred, three million. Let's see, yeah, and that's yeah, the odd thing. They don't add up, man. They don't add yeah, that's up. That's the odd thing about the electoral college, how it makes it to where you can actually not win the popular vote and still win the election. Um, or the ele you can win the electoral. Huh? Yeah, you can win the electoral votes, but not win the general. Um, I think that's right. only happened twice, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it's not it's something uh, that hasn't happened that often, babe. I did a bit of research on it not that long ago. It's not, like, for someone to... Uh, win the popular vote and not win the electoral votes is really fucking rare. I want to say it's like happened twice. I want right. to say it was Trump and then I, if memory and my wife's double checking this ladies and gentlemen so we'll double confirm this here in a second I'm pretty sure it was Bush was it Bush against Gore? Yeah I think that was the case where Gore won the popular election but didn't win enough electoral votes I'm pretty sure that Tory is covered is is controlled by the power that be. Oh, bro, the electoral vote system is bullshit. Like, I mean, it was fine. Right. You know, when when the voting system was initially set up, I oh, it's happened five times. My apologies. Give me those five times, babe. Eighteen twenty four with John Quincy Adams. 1876 Rutherford wait what Rutherford Hayes, Rutherford Hayes. Mm -hmm. 1888 Benjamin Harrison George Bush Bush in 2000 and then Trump wait but only those were all presidential why the fuck I only okay I didn't recognize two of those presidents who were the middle two what Benjamin Harrison yeah okay I know the the Okay, okay, so no, there was the Quincy, I know that, 
haze, I know that, and whatever. Who the fuck said I was a goddamn fucking historian? That's my brother, I'm the unknown factor. I don't, I don't fucking, well that's why I fucking was asking you. So apparently that's happened five times though, where the presidential election, uh, they didn't win the pop. But again, in, in recent history, it's only happened twice. Cause mm-hmm. what was the, the, after Bush, babe, the first one was when? 1888, yeah, more than a fucking hundred years, right? So that shit up well, until the Gore and fucking Bush and Trump and Hillary hadn't happened for like a hundred fucking years, right? And yeah. at that time frame, where it was that far back, I could see there being a need for that system just because of how the world was ran. It's not fucking global like it is now. But for the electoral college, yeah. for you to say that it's necessary nowadays is in my opinion uh, a statement that insults the intelligence of the American general public right so I'm correct on that yeah I mean Will the, that you, Will's down with the electoral college I know he is he thinks the fucking earth's flat too yeah. you're right see look he it's didn't even defend fucking... himself he didn't. I'm right. He totally, he believes in the electoral college and the fucker thinks the earth's flat. That's why he didn't even say anything, Nitty. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Will? Will is gone, probably. No, he's, that's funny. Big Will's still here. He apparently just is like, man, I can't talk about my whole flat earth. And the fact that I'm a flat earther, he just don't want to. He don't want to get into it, Nitty. It's a sensitive topic with him, and that's understandable. You know what I'm saying? But fuck Trump. But hey, let's flip this to something else, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we're talking about the fact that I mean the world is definitely becoming more global. Did you see what the fuck got invented? Like, uh, this is so cool. Like, they they do they made an earpiece that legit you you fucking put in your ear and it translates in real time like I think like 33 different languages if memory serves me proper Mm. like dude you could talk to someone speaking Mandarin Nitty and understand them Mandarin yeah it's a form of Chinese it's a Chinese dialect Mm. yeah like you could sit and with this earpiece man you could talk to these people like, that's how global the world has become to where we've started making things like this. And then still, we somehow end up with a dumbass president. I don't understand this fucking planet, Nitty. I really don't. Yeah, hey. You got no I won't even lie. I got you speak. Holy speechless. shit, I got Frank Nitty speechless. Big Will's not even fucking... Like, Big Will ran the fuck away. I don't know, because he's like, he's like, no, man, I will not talk about the fact that I believe in flat earth. Fuck you, factor. And like, he ran off. What kind of bullshit is that? You know he believes in flat earth. You know he believes in flat earth, right, Nitty? Daddy? You know that, man. He does. But it's okay. Yeah, man. I figure it's Big Will. Fuck it. We just let it do what it do. Yeah, and this is Let It Do What It Do by Project Born. We'll be right back. Heavy in the game, let it do what it do. 
Got people under pressure like Louisiana blood. Where it is, where it was. They try to cop a hood. I won't get to buy a big job so I can be a stud. Got my feet screaming what? When bringing up the gun plate. Just violated papers, speeding backwards on the one way. They click to the clack. They bust it down the back. And that's the damn reason that we act like they do. Come on. You're listening to No Fucks Given Radio. Are you sure? Oh, hell yeah. And you know what? I'm not ashamed to say it. Here, let me see. Well, I'm a little ashamed. All right, I'm mortified. But the point is, I believe in this product. The No Fucks Given Hour. Let's cut to the chase. We interview some of the most special guests, well-known guests. Shit, we might even interview some people that you might not even fucking know. So were you in that? Your host, Unknown Factor, chuckles that head-hugging clown, and as always, Shell Shell, chilling in the background. We had fun today. So, are you ready to try the... No fucks given out. Because we don't give a fuck, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern time. What day? Whatever fucking day we want. Thank you. This was fun. This is the No Fucks Given Out. Take my advice, pal. Quit while you're ahead. Now you die. A murder ride. A murder ride? <laughs> I don't want to go on a murder ride. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We have such sights to show you. Oh. We can't. <laughs> you solved the box. We came. Now you must come with us. Taste out. Demons to some, angels to 
Yeah, because we're back, ladies and gentlemen. No fucks given radio. That's right. I am your host, the Unknown Factory. Let's, uh, we gotta turn the Facebook on too, though. That's the bitch of this. It's like, I gotta click. Like, it used to be yeah, I just had to click one button. Turn the Facebook live back on. Yeah, I had to turn the Facebook live back on. It used to be I just clicked one button and we was live and that was it. And now, you know, I got this shit and then I got that shit. So I gotta press that shit and then I gotta press that shit. But we're live. No bullshit zone, ladies and gentlemen. Myself, the Unknown Factory. Got Frank Nitty in the house and Big Will, right? And man, like, I, for real, I, I was fresh out of topics, Will, but you got one? Uh, I mean, you got this. You got this. All right. Down here in Michigan and Clio, you got five teenagers. They were throwing rocks onto the highway. Up to, I think I read, what was it, a 20 pound rock or some shit? Mm-hmm. When I was That's reading the article earlier today? Yeah. Today. yeah. Oh, they were throwing fucking tires. And, and ended up hitting, obviously, hitting one of somebody's car and killing a guy. This was like Thursday, I think it was. Was that Thursday? Thursday or Friday? There's, 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 now, let me propose to get you. all five. How the fuck in the world we live in do you get so bored? You're like, you know what? I'm going to throw some rocks down in the They freeway. loaded them into a fucking truck. Like, what the fuck? That too, so like, I mean, because a 20 pound, that's a 20 pound stone. Like, that ain't no bullshit. Yeah. No, the, the, the rock was actually six pounds, dude, to be honest. Oh, okay. I, I'm just going by what I read today oh, okay. in, the, in the article. So he's, yeah, Will said up to 20 pounds, so I'd assume they'd yeah. thrown several. Uh, I didn't know as far as, right. the, yeah. But it was a six pound rock that actually caused the fatality, Nitty? Yeah, yeah. What it was, and they hit it and hit the windshield and killed me. Well, I mean, bro, Nitty, no, now the fuck, like, how bored or fucked up in the head or whatever are you, I'm gonna throw some fucking rock, like, why? Have they, have you heard a statement from these kids at all? No. Yeah, look. I haven't. Uh, no. Yeah, they're actually, actually like 16, the one was 17. The one is 17. I don't know how those right. numbers is. They get charged with... I thought they said they were all 16 murder. except for the one. So they all get second degree murder. Right? Uh, second degree murder seems a little fucking harsh. Somebody did it, brother. Somebody's dead. That is murder. I mean, they, when you, I, throw, when you but, throw okay, okay, like okay, that. but within the confines of the law, I wouldn't think that was second degree murder. I would think that was more manslaughter. Cause sure, they were doing some dumb shit. But I, I do you really think those kids thought someone was gonna die? Hey, I mean, honestly, when you, uh, it's a, lot, a lot of things people do to them, people don't, they don't expect people to die, but they die. Well, that's and that, and that's why no they got a how- manslaughter charge, though. That's what that charge is Man, for. Daughter. You did some dumb shit, and someone died. You didn't expect them gonna, you know what I'm saying? That's what manslaughter is. Something like this. Cops get manslaughter charges all the time for murder, and they still get them. These kids, they didn't. I, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if they believe they could actually kill somebody in the process of doing that, but. I believe uh, common sense would tell you if the car's coming down at 70 miles per hour, right? And you get the, yeah. and you throw a rock, a, a, a running truck could swerve, turn over. It could be deadly for just more than one person. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And, and they 16, they're not really bored and throwing over, not throwing over. They 16, 17. This is like, fuck it. That's just, that doesn't, you don't do that. That's the common sense. You know what? This world lacks common sense. This world has lacked more common sense than anything. Common sense. Just, you don't fucking do that. Cars coming 30 miles per hour, you throwing some over the ramp, down somebody's dead. 
because you thought it was it was it was labeled a joke. Then you would think you probably probably thinking you would never get caught. Right. That's probably what it is. Yeah. They probably, they probably did. They probably did think they'd get caught. But you think about it, though. It was as far as the situation goes. It was it was a serious. A lot of people just on to that situation. Like they wanted. Wow, they wanted their ass because that's, that's just, just a fucked up thing to do. You don't fucking do no shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't do no shit like that. True. Well, who can I Who bad I did? I wonder who the one to fucking do that. See, so. And that goes back to the fact. I mean, it was it was a bunch of six it was a bunch of sixteens and then a seventeen year old. Like, how in the fuck were were they? How in the fuck were they that bored? I that's what I don't understand. Like, how how did you get to the point where you're like, you know what, the fun thing to do would be to do this out of everything that is in the possibility of this world to do. So I mean, I see your point as far as sure. They need to be charged, and I, and I agree with that. Those, those kids need to be charged with something. Bro, they got second degree, second degree murder charges. All of them. See, that's what that's my point, though. That's a little fucking much. And I mean, you bring they up the cops. Conspiracy to commit murder, second degree murder. They got both of them. Hell no! Ain't nobody doing that. What? And they wouldn't be responsible for the death penalty. And black and white, like that's murder. Right. <laughs> When you, when you knowingly, knowingly, know that what you're doing is totally wrong and somebody dies, that's murder. It is, no doubt about that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's, all I'm, that's the only way I'm looking at it because I'm like, you know, they're young. You know, you're thinking like, man, they're young. They this, they that. We can pitch around all the narratives that we want. But let's, Let's be realistic. Somebody done lost their life. Somebody, mother, son ain't, 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 ain't coming home no more. Right. So you gotta, yeah. you gotta take in that, in, into consideration how that motherfucker feels. You're like, damn, this motherfucker never coming back. He's never coming back home. <laughs> so, what do you what, what do you say to some 16, 17 year old who knew what the hell they were doing and they go, just, just thinking jokingly, throwing stuff off the thing, you know, and then somebody dies. Yeah, you guys, sound like a murder to me? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I mean, you know, you know a manslaughter, a manslaughter is okay, I didn't call, and I called the death, uh, unintentionally, or this, it was unintentionally, they was intentionally throwing rock on the So cars are going 70 miles per hour. Yeah. That doesn't make, I mean, 70 miles per hour, you know? Yeah, and you ain't got to be no kind of fucking physics professor to figure out that if you throw a rock at something coming exactly. at you 70 miles an hour, you're going to fuck that thing up, whatever it is. Right. Oh, man. God damn. Will, fucking, I, I really don't want to end on that note. That shit's depressing. It is. Yeah. It really is. Well, Jesus, someone be positive. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, the Yankees got put out. What right happened? Man, okay, yeah, they did. Uh, it happened. I can't deny that. But <laughs> there you go. That's a good thing to see someone in the underground who has grinded her ass off, like Whitney Payton come out and re-release Firecracker and fucking be hitting billboard charts like that. There's a, there's a bit of a positive note. Yeah. Hell yeah. That came from the wife. I, I think that is dope to see somebody that's been in the underground grinding their ass off like that. And yeah, she's like, she's fucking getting the billboards like that. That's fucking dope. Because she's fucking definitely earned that shit. Yeah. Let's get off murder and the goddamn president. Jesus Christ. This show's depressing sometimes, guys. I swear. There's this show is sort of depressing. Then there's what? Thank you. That's there you go. Here's here's the topic I want to end on, guys. Yeah. My wife brought it to the head. Thank you, dear. Uh have you guys seen 
that Playboy is going to have a transgender model on it. I heard something about that. The fuck gonna do some shit like that? <laughs> so I see you agree with Jenna Jameson then, Nitty, because Jenna Jameson came out and was pretty much like, what the fuck? That needs to be a separate issue. Then, then uh, you have ain't been dead a month, good. And the motherfuckers already right, fucking up this shit. Right? Man, I mean, that's it's what's happening. Playboy will have a transgender model on as its cover model um, here. Next and the next Playboy. That's what it's gonna be. But you know, Big Will still gonna be looking at that motherfucker rubbing his balls. What? Like, oh, get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! You're so fucking crazy. He couldn't wait to say that. He couldn't wait to fucking get that and sneak that one in there. Like, you done? Big Will's gonna be like, I can't wait to suck. I wanna suck her titties and her dick. <laughs> I don't know about all that. I'm not, I, I definitely don't know about all that. <laughs> Alright then. This one went weird, but at least it's not fucking. Yeah. Oh man. So, but I, I see though, Nitty, sincerely, you you agree with Jenny, because Jenna Jameson came out and is really against Playboy doing this. Um. My wife adamantly said it should be a separate issue. I see that it fucking... Like, that needs to be a separate yeah. kind of like... <laughs> yeah, a separate, yeah, yeah, a, a separate line of magazines. Like, if you want to do that, that's fine. But, you know, it needs to be its own fucking thing. I see, Nitty, you obviously agree with that whole... Yeah, like, why the fuck is there a transgender on Playboy that's really... Huh? Right. Yeah, hell yeah. And then Will just wants I'm to stroke a, himself to it, a, so there's that. Yeah, I'm gonna look at that. It's very weird. Well, I might want to rub one off, and then rub one off to a transgender. No. Yeah, I'd be pissed if I was a dude and that wasn't like. Hey, look, that's like that's like legitimately. Look, like if you're fucking out at a bar, and uh, and I'm sorry if you are transgender, you should let the motherfucker you're fucking with know that. You know, you really should. Uh, I'm just saying, I, I think it's fair. If you want to play the game, that's how you should play with level fucking rules. Um, I don't know. Will, honest opinion. What do you think? Transgender model. Transgender model on Playboy. Cover. Um, I don't Cover. know about all that. I, I, no. No, probably not. See? Either, you know, yeah, I mean. Yeah, this motherfucker's been dead a month, almost, and they're gonna do this shit already? Come on, get the fuck out of here. Oh, that's Who's crazy, dude, that? I didn't relate Who that yet. Who the fuck's yeah. idea was I, that? I wonder, I wonder if Hef would have allowed this if he was still alive, or if he'd have been like, what the fuck are you doing to my magazine? <laughs> right. Right. Uh, I, I'd totally space that fact, yeah, rest in peace, you Hefner. Yeah, you were a man whore. You were the ultimate man. You were the ultimate man, whore, sir. Rest in peace. Yeah. yeah. You're probably not. Yeah. Now the bunnies are free. Oh my god. I see some. Uh, I see somebody post that. An old man died today, and then all the bunnies roamed free from the ranch. And I was like, motherfucker. That was like the day he passed, though. Yeah. I don't know, though, man. Fucking. I think I'd like to have uh, Hef alive at this point because I really think he he may have stopped that. I, I don't. I, I mean, because I think if that's the only reason it's gone through at this point is because it, he is dead. Then, right? I mean, it has to be. I'll take his place if he, if he need a, uh, somebody to step in. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Nitty, as long as you didn't put a fucking transgender model in front of the cover of Playboy, I wouldn't mind. Now, on the other hand, if you want to go and start a separate magazine for that, that's fine. That's that's fine. No problem right. at all. Do that. But again, it should be a separate magazine. That, ladies and gentlemen, is no goddamn bullshit. Yeah, and this has been the No Bullshit Zone with myself, the unknown factor, Frank Nitty and Big Bull in the house. Gentlemen, final thoughts?
Go ahead, Big Will. You go first. Your final thought. Go ahead. I, I'm trying to think of something to say. Oh, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, I want to rest in peace to the four soldiers that died overseas in Niger, Africa. Uh, a big rest in peace to them. Uh, rest in peace to the uh, New York Yankees. Uh, what Rest in peace to the Yankees. You would say some shit like that. Uh, no, but uh, you know, just want to, you know, um, you know, just give a big, big shout out to uh, everybody out here who's uh, standing up against uh, social injustices all over America. Uh, and uh, man, love to uh, and and I hope this uh this country can 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 heal and people will start loving people more. I'm out here. Hell yeah, dude. That's what's up. Will? I don't know how to follow that. But the rest in peace, New York Yankees. God, that's just so bad. Oh, my God. Okay. So, you know, it's been a good little, uh, it's been a good little, I missed a little bit because I had a phone call, but it's been a good, it's been a good show tonight. So, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm, I'm still in disbelief at the rest of these New York Yankees. <laughs> well, apparently, ladies and gentlemen, the New York Yankees are dead. As well as I just want to agree with Frank Nitty. They're fucking Nitty. dead! Frank, I just want to agree, though, with Frank Nitty. For anybody that dies in the service baseball, of this. They'll be fine. Hey, hold on, Will. I'm trying to be serious, goddammit. Uh, for anyone that Ooh. dies in the service of this country to make sure that we can come on and like just come on no fucks given radio and really not give a fuck and say whatever the fuck we want salute to all you motherfuckers and all you motherfuckers that go out there and do it but to all you motherfuckers out there on the fucking level that are doing some dumb shit and giving stupid ass orders like our dumb ass orange president fuck all you pieces of shit and on a different note you want to come catch my ass live ladies and gentlemen come out to fucking Ohio this weekend Toledo yeah highway to Halloween I'll be out in that bitch man we gonna get fucked up it's your mask. that's what's up and then if you want to catch Nitty man I know he's gonna be at that motherfucker oh hey, shit it is it is the wife's birthday yeah the 27th so come out fucking come out fucking get my wife a drink man get her hammered so i can smash yeah that's besides the point you know and if you want to check out october 31st motherfucker i know up fucking yeah in michigan you can catch project born on hall of fucking wicked that's right yeah oh um, you know? um, yeah also sin fest that same day in flint michigan yeah oh yeah see you got sin fest in flint michigan so get out support the motherfucking underground but i again am the unknown factor this is no fuck skip radio and what we be doing is fucking up the whole program yeah by stoker the rusa have a good night y'all motherfuckers are going to a television junkie motherfucking mode nigga ain't no tv <laughs> I need my remote, nigga. I'm Jones. Nigga, it's called Television Program. They telling you visually the program. You being programmed, nigga. You watch it on the news. It was on CNN. It's true. I seen it on Fox. It's real. It's fucking bullshit. up the whole program. We fucking up the whole program. We fucking up the whole Live from a digital age It's like we literally living in a matrix Basically a bunch of ignorant slaves In an invisible cage You're too complacent to face it Too busy trying to fake like a famous On Facebook pages Full of lame women They the greatest stage in pics So strange to think they rich And trying to beg for clicks What type of game is this? It ain't shit I'm trying to play Just like your mixtape That shit's fake You should get fucked What? No, not today Get up out my way with that Y'all follow trends I'm face pack I ain't got no friends And I'm okay with that Cause y'all bragging about How you stay in a trap Think about that Wake up you saps now ain't good time to be taking a nap We on the rub late in the tag It's a state of emergency trick I'm just stating a fact In my state it's a fact They train to attack my state on Iraq Rap And the fucked up thing is That somebody made it like that Rap all about mind control though They gon' call me sick Go home Turn they program on Like it ain't got a script But I will not be tricked No, y'all are not that slick I refuse to be a clone we man We fuck that whole shit. Program. We fucking up the whole program Y'all losing
stick to the script Shut the fuck up and do what you're told They forcefully enrolled you in schools That never told you the truth Only showed you the rules Holding the jewels Throwing you fool's gold They got you fool sold On these fake narratives And every one of them has got some huge holes It's time to use your mind And if you do you'll find a new design That's used by human swine To keep you benign They want you and I both to take our daily pills Then eat some shit that makes us weak and sick And still keep two jobs just to pay our bills Then stare at our screen and chill While they fill us full of parasites That shit is barely life But in America it's every night It's a scary sight Watching people turn to minor thrones But my mind is strong So fuck them, y'all know what I do, bro